what is up everybody new never you here today um today i want to talk about a simple little topic we are talking about alcohol drugs and the fight the struggle now i know a lot of people personally that you know enjoy enjoy alcohol i enjoy an occasional drink myself but there is a danger in in alcohol in drugs and the struggle slash the fight and today i want to cover that today i want to get to the nitty gritty the 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 basis of everything that is drugs alcohol and the struggle slash the fight there's plenty of reasons that people turn to alcohol drugs and you know give up the essence of life either by suicide or rite of passage or just giving up in life in general because there's so many things that come at you as a human being that sometimes you're not really uh either aware of or able to fight off and as a functioning human being in today's society uh nine times out of ten we need something to lean on to get us through the day, get us through the week, get us through the month, get us through the year. Uh, quite often that's either alcohol, drugs, um, sex, uh, indulging in overeating. There's just so many avenues um, that we, we can go down that leads us to a path of no return. And I think there's a cure for that. Well, actually I know there's a cure for that. And I wanna share that with you today. So currently myself uh, I've had several jobs where I had to stand up for myself for really basic human things uh, there was one job where I was a delivery guy and I went to four different managers to address an issue and the issue never got addressed so I stopped caring uh, I would do my job but anything extra I wouldn't do. Uh, there was another job that there was just some stuff going on that I didn't agree with and I brought it up. Of course, you know, your coworkers turn on you and you, you become the black sheep and you be become a target and you either label a snitch or somebody that's hard to work with, somebody that's diff difficult to work with, somebody that's difficult to talk to. Um, and then this current job that I have there's a, you know, there's always some overbearing person that takes their authority way too far. And I don't go for that. Uh, respect is respect. And this person is just used to abusing his authority, but I'm not the person that allows myself to be abused by anybody, by any sort of the mean, physically, sexually, mentally, uh, any of that we had about and I didn't back down and I'm not going to and I refuse to there are certain things that I just don't allow and talking to me crazy or swearing at me in a professional environment it's like it's just that's a no-no that's a no-go but I say all this stuff to lead into the 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 subject of drugs and alcohol. Most people go through the same thing on a daily basis and they don't say a word. Most people go to work, they get talked to all kinds of ways. Uh, some people get molested at work. Some people get sexually abused at work. Some people get beat up at work. Some people just go through all these things at their jobs and at, at home or just any place they inhabit. There's, there's just things that they deal with that they don't know how to cope with and sometimes they feel like they're not strong enough to say anything or go against the grain as one would say and they're stuck a lot of times those people think that they're weak and really what it is is you know it's it's scary it's scary to defend yourself sometimes because if you're in a situation where you know you're raising kids and you're you're the only provider in the house you want to put your children first and i understand that uh, I, I do and you don't want to do anything that's going to go against keeping your your family fed protected and provided for so a lot of people uh, they deal with the abuse of all sorts of measures because they they feel like they have to in order to provide for their family 
And then there's other people, it's just a pattern for them. That's how they grew up. They grew up being uh, abused uh, physically, spiritually, sexually. And so it's it's kind of normal for them. And if they weren't going through those certain type of traumas, then they would feel out of place. And then there's people like me that don't go for it at all. And any chance it happens, it's a war or you get fired. With all three groups of people, there's probably more groups, but these are the ones I'm gonna use to identify for this video. There is, I'll just say a crutch that we go to. Some people go to drugs, some people go to sex, some people go to the internet for videos, uh, porn or comedy or YouTube, stuff like that. And then there's some people that go to alcohol. For the longest time, I went to alcohol. I stood up for myself, but the repercussions of standing up for myself, I caught a bunch of flack, like I said earlier. You get tired of getting beat up. You get tired of getting beat down for trying to do what's right, trying to do what's right for you, trying to do what's right for your basic human rights, your basic human needs, especially in an environment that none of the people involved in the situation own. Uh, I could understand if it was like the person saying this stuff to you owned the business and this stuff was directly affecting how everything correlated, even then it's still not, it's, it's still not correct, it's still not right, but I would have a more understanding because you're the head of everything. But I digress, self-respect is something that everybody wants, everybody desires. When we as humans don't get that, it's very frustrating. And everybody's not um, strong enough to just deal with it head on because it's, it's very taxing. You know, alcohol is always readily available. There's a liquor store, maybe two or three liquor stores on, on some streets sometimes, or around the corners, or, or across the street from certain churches. Some neighborhoods have drug dealers at the ready on the, on the speed dial on some people's cases. And some people feel like they have to be drunk or high to produce any sort of productivity to the world. And you know, some people feel like they de-stressed by having sex and that's supposed to clear their mind and make it easier for them to keep moving forward and none of this stuff is true we don't need drugs we don't need alcohol we don't have to use sex in that in that form or manner to cure ourselves of these evils these just abominations that plague our bodies plague our minds plague our souls on a daily basis because the reality is all that crap is going to happen at some point we're gonna have to argue with somebody. We're gonna have to demand our respect at some point. We're gonna have to go against the grain at some point or else nothing changes. And if nothing changes, then not only are you affected, but people that you don't know later on down the line, they're gonna be affected. And I know looking at it from that point of view is kind of like, well, why do I care about what somebody else is about to go through when I have to deal through all, go through all this stuff myself? I'm worried about myself right now, and right now I feel like that's more important than anything else. And you're correct. I mean, you are the the source of yourself. You are the person that has to deal with that pain, deal with that stress, deal with all of that. And I, I completely understand. But going to drugs, going to, to unmarital sex, going to alcohol doesn't fix anything. The problems are still going to be there. You're still going to be sad once you get that dopamine rush. You're still going to have to either run from your problems again or deal with them. And the more you run from them, the easier it becomes to run from everything. Not just problems, but just just everything. You start to believe that you don't deserve happiness. You start to believe that you don't deserve joy, that you don't deserve love of any any kind. You start to fade away from people that care about you. You start to just do all these things and become a different person that you never, ever, ever thought you would be. You don't even recognize yourself. And then it gets to the point where you have to have that stuff in order to function. And when you get to that point, it's 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 not impossible to come back, but it's it's a fight. And if you've been running this whole time to these substances, to these activities, to these events, then you're gonna have a hard time getting back to the norm. 
and the norm would be the, the place where you decided if you were going to run or you were going to fight. So basically, you have to work twice as hard because not only do you have to dig yourself out the pit, you have to get yourself back to the norm, and then you have to start to push yourself to be able to fight for yourself. And that's difficult. When I say fight, I don't mean physically fight because that doesn't solve anything either. Drugs, alcohol, meaningless sex is killing so many people and just the fear of standing up to overbearing overseers and evil people is killing so many people. It's driving people to depression. It's breaking up marriages. It's breaking up homes. It's breaking up families. It's killing the dynamic of teaching people how to be tough in their own regard. And being tough doesn't mean carrying a gun, uh, killing people because they say something sideways. Being tough is being able to stand up for yourself and tell people, hey, I'm not going to take anything less than respect. And if you can't do that, then you can kick rocks with both feet. Boom, boom. Now, let's just let's take it a step further. And uh, I'll, I'll end the video shortly after that. Uh, if you ever go to a, a liquor store, most of the time it says wines and spirits. When people do certain drugs, they say they see certain things. Like, none of this stuff is coincidence, man. Like, like I said in a lot of my other videos, everything is by design. And there's nothing that's going on that just, just happens by accident. Everything happens by a course of actions taken by ourselves. And those course of actions lead us to an end result. So you can be tampering with these different drugs and all this alcohol trying to forget. But you're opening doorways to your soul, to your spirit that's letting these evil demonic presences and spirits creep in and take over your mind and lead you to these dark places of depression where you don't even want to watch TV. You don't want to eat. You don't want to drink normal foods or eat normal food. You just, you just want to sit in the bed all day and woe is me and everybody hates me. Nobody loves me. I have all these problems. Like, understand this. Your problems are going to be there. That's a fact. But how you look at those problems, how you progress through those problems, that's what helps you. That's what pushes you beyond that barrier to be able to face anything that you're going through. And I know a lot of people probably don't believe in God or probably feel like God is the reason that they're going through all these things. And I don't know why God allows things to happen like that to us. I don't. I know that we have the enemy Satan that is coming for our, so our souls, like I told you in the other video. And I, I, I don't know why we have to go through that pain. But I do know that God says that he'll never leave us or forsake us. And that we can do all things through Christ that strengthen us. And that if we put on the whole arm of God, that we can withstand the wiles of the devil. So we have to fight. We have to put our faith in God. We have to keep moving forward. We can't let the enemy win. We can't let Satan take over our souls. We can't let them have our, our, our families our kids, our jobs, none of that stuff. And if you don't fight back, he's gonna take a lot more than you think you have because he knows what you have. And he probably has access to things that are probably coming your way. So you have to be on guard. There is no, I'm gonna take a break today. No, fourth quarter dog, end game, Avengers, assemble, go time. And I know it's scary, I do, trust me. Every time I have to go to war with somebody that I'm in situations with, man, I just, what I want to do, I can't do. And I just, I just, in the, in the moment, I just have to hope that my faith in God is deep enough that he's going to give me the words to say, give me the right temperament, not let my anger peak to the point where I go to the wrong. You have to do the same thing because unfortunately we can't we can't do this stuff by ourselves. We're just not designed to to withstand the world because the world's a dark place and it gets darker by the day. But you are more than the conqueror. But you have to believe. You have to push forward. You have to care. You have to get out of these addictions. You have to push forward through all these things you have to show effort you have to and i believe in you because if i can do it you can do it 
because I was in a super dark and terrible place. I mean, I almost lost, uh, if you've seen my past video with my homie Ja'Cory, there was a point where we weren't speaking. I almost lost my friendship with him. I almost lost my relationship with my wife uh, before we were married. Uh, I'm still fixing my relationship with some of my siblings because I was just a, a terrible, a terrible brother. So I, I understand the stipulations and the pain and the, the actions it takes to try to move forward. But trust me when I say it is, it is worth it because being by yourself because of some stupid mistakes that you made is not where you want to be. It's not. I that much I can guarantee you. So stay strong. Just know that in your mind, it's the scariest. And in reality, it's probably not as bad as you think it is. But I am new, never you. And if you did new, now you do. Boom, 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 boom. Should I just sabotage? Do this in it just to make them turn.